Watching our caloric intake is just one challenge we all experience during the holidays. Reducing our stress intake is another. Well, here to help us prepare for holiday gatherings and learn how to manage our sanity and find our center is life coach Ryan Haddon. It's good to have you. Oh, great. Thank you so much for having me. As a life coach, do you ever get stressed out? Of course. Of course we do, but we have tools. And, and I want to talk about some of those tools. What would you say are some of your go-to moves when you're confronted with a stressful situation? I think that first, like you said, is learning how to center yourself, knowing that there's really nothing outside you. You're just getting triggered. So what is, what is a way that you could move into alignment? And some people do that through breath work, very simple breath work techniques. Some people do it through meditation. Some people do it through taking a walk in nature. It's knowing what tools to pull out of the toolbox that you might need. And we're talking about the holidays here. So there's some specific ways to not walk in and you know, know how to practice self-care when you walk into your family. If there's traditionally triggering conversations or people that really get under your skin, which can happen, because that's what happens in families. So it's really moving into acceptance that it's gonna happen most likely. And what are ways that you can take care of yourself? And I wanna also ask you, Yes, taking a walk is a great idea, but when you are confronted with situations, and let's say there isn't an escape exit that's too convenient, if you end up locking horns or someone wants to lock horns with you and you try to resist, what are some of the things that one should do to, to resist the urge to get engaged? I think having little mantras that you can go to like I'd rather be happy than right is a good one. And then outwardly you can say something like, let's agree to disagree, even if inside you feel like that contraction around that moment, knowing that you've done this in the past, you've gone locked horns with them and it really is, it doesn't, it's not satisfying. It's not a road you wanna go down. So it's knowing how to get out ahead of that and, and taking that, that moment to do it. In order to, to have a, a kind and clear boundary with someone, how far do you let it get before you set you you draw the line and and you have to verbally draw the line because either they're not picking up on cues it's going right over their head what should you do what should you say i think ahead of time you can something if it's if they're open to it you can discuss it ahead of time and say hey you know what we have this dynamic between us let's agree to keep this topic off limits so we can really have a beautiful festivity together so that's something you can do ahead of time and in the moment is really just to call attention to it say you know i respect you i respect your point of view i'm just gonna let's talk about something else you know and then focus on gratitude is what this whole holiday is about it's really highlighting the good so maybe change the subject and ask people what are you most grateful for yeah. this year it's those kinds of tools that we're talking about like that are very practical or it's doing a couple of counting breaths where you can count count in for eight and exhale for four you know I mean, you just it's figuring out ways that you can on the ground in the trenches show up for yourself and it sounds like you're not teaching avoidance so if you know that there's going to be certain people there that maybe you just don't get along with the the idea is not to avoid it altogether but to go ahead dive in but to make sure that you're at least the same one in the room right and also you want to have the intention that it's a, a wonderful gathering of friends it might not that's not the right place it's not the right venue yeah. to you know have lines in the sand necessarily right. so i think it's just a good idea to have that intention have that as a value for yourself in that day and then try to dance around it it doesn't mean you're avoidant it doesn't mean you don't want to handle or deal with things that are tricky but it's just a way to laser in on what this celebration is about it's about togetherness it's about meeting on common ground perfect and that's a great way to end this ryan i want to thank you so much for joining us today thank you thank you for having me happy holidays you too we're back yeah. after this